Thank you very much, Randy. I wanted to append one thing to what you just said, and that is it is not just that we're asking people to give so that we can reach more people, but actually it gets right down to the heart of continuing to do precisely what we're doing, where we're doing it now. So it is important for people to stand with us prayerfully and financially, but only give as you've been given Give with a grateful heart. Do not give out of duress. God loves a cheerful giver. Want to go back to the phone lines? Talk to Diana, listening in Santa Barbara, California, KDIA. Hi, Diana. Hi. Thank you for taking the call. Pleasure. I was calling regarding medical cannabis and studying the Word of God. Uh huh. Is is there a very I just was wondering the conflict in trying to study the Bible and uh, in using medical marijuana. What is your view on that? You're talking about uh, marijuana in uh, general, gen, gen, uh, general, or are you talking about medical marijuana? Pardon me? Are you talking about marijuana in general or medical marijuana? Yes, I'm talking about medical marijuana and studying the Word of God. So have you been prescribed medical marijuana? Yes. Okay, yeah. So here, here's the issue. I think that what we ought to do is heed what the Bible tells us, and that is we are called to be sober-minded, not indulging in drug-induced stupor, which is to say that if, in fact, you need this for medical purposes, then so be it. If it is prescribed and it is a genuine need, then you have that genuine need and you have to take your, your, your medicine, as it were. I know that my mother has had some, some issues, physical of late, and as a result of that, she's had to take some drugs that put her in an altered state of consciousness. It's just the uh, the side effects of, of taking those, those drugs. But she also has adequate time when she's not in that particular condition to study the Word of God as well. And I think that when we're studying the Word of God and we're intoxicated in one way or another, we're not going to get the full benefit of the Word of God, and that has to be kept in mind. Remember that uh, there are so many negative effects to marijuana that, uh, again, it's really important that the prescription is a prescription that's really necessary because there are harmful effects including dependence, respiratory illness, poor motor performance, mental illness, impaired cognitive function, uh, distorted perceptions, and the list can go on and on, including... Uh, issues like problems with learning and memory. So even though states are increasingly in the process of legalizing marijuana, I think that we need to take a very sober look at the impact of marijuana and make certain that this is something that is really necessary for you.